Hello everyone and welcome for the third scenario of the Pirus of Epirus campaign, Pyrrhic victories. As you guys probably know, the term Pyrrhic means uh, victory which comes with a very heavy cost. So maybe we gonna learn about the significance here? Let's find out, uh, this will be very interesting, so far the campaign has been really good. Pyrrhus now had neither enemies to fight, or pressing disputes to manage. It was the first period of prolonged peace that he had experienced in many years, and he hated every minute of it. Men like him are built for war, and they start to break down come peacetime. Pyrrhus was looking for any excuse to rally his men again, and he soon found one. The Greek colonies in Italy had long been regarded as unimportant outposts in barbarian lands. But now they were under threat from the ever-expanding Republic of Rome. When a call for aid came from the city-state of Tarentum, Pyrrhus jumped at the opportunity. All that I could do was try and convince him to stay and enjoy his hard-won peace. If we can conquer Rome, he told me as he was drawing up his invasion plans, all of Italy will soon be ours. And if we can defeat the Romans, then Sicily, Libya, and Carthage should be easy pickings. And when all of these lands are yours, what will you do? I asked. He replied, Why, we will celebrate, of course. We will sing and drink and be at ease after all of our troubles. Then what, pray tell, is preventing us from drinking and passing our time right now, instead of starting yet another war? If happiness and celebration is your goal, my friend, then you have already achieved it. Pyrrhus could give no good answer, but his mind was already set. He would become the liberator of the Greeks in Italy and put the Roman barbarians in their place. However, a raging storm hit our fleet as we sailed for Italy. With his armies scattered to the winds, Pyrrhus made landfall near Tarentum with only a fraction of the men that he had assembled. Okay, so it seems that we will start scenario uh, in the middle of a lot of difficulties. Let's see, the last scenario was really good. We had to do a landing and it was even constructed a part of the scenario in the night. So that was really amazing. But now let's find out what's going on with this one. So the main objectives, destroy the Roman force besieging Tarentum before they can raise Tarentum's town center. Ooh. Uh, secondary objective is scout the coast for survivors of the storm. Pyrrhus begins the Bronze Age and can support a population of 60 without houses. Hmm. Liberating local settlements will increase our population limits. Most of the Imperial Army was scattered by a storm and did not reach Italy with Pyrrhus. You may be able to find remnants of this force along the coast. You are entirely reliant on your, uh, on your allies for resources. As such, you cannot train villagers or construct any buildings beyond those that you can that you capture. The more Greek settlements that you liberate, the more the resources you will receive. The Roman army already besieges Heraclea, which is sure to fall if you do not send help. Ooh. Like the Macedonians, the Romans field powerful infantry. Sometimes you must fire, fight fire with fire. Yeah, probably will be what we will do. We with our heavy infantry and they with their legion, uh, legionaries. Now, in Age of Empires, you rest for all legionaries, not legions. Uh, Pyrrhus, one green, and the remnants of his army have landed near Tarento. He must quickly save the town from its Roman besiegers and then battle the Romans across the Italian countryside. Greek colony of Tarento signs your main ally. It will supply you with resources, but it's too weak to field its own army. Spread across the Italian countryside are various Greek settlements, three grey, which will welcome any liberator who drives the Roman occupiers out. In the south lies the Greek town of Heraclea, for blue, which is besieged by the Romans and cannot aid you until they are driven away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should pay attention to the city. The Roman army six reds deploy near Heraclea and, and Asplum and will be your most dangerous opponent. It fields a mixed army, mostly consisting of heavy infantry. 
north lies the Roman town of Asculum, 5 purple, which supplies the Roman army. Attack the city could interrupt its resource shipments and prevent the Roman army from training more soldiers. To the west lies the helm of Sam Samites, 7 yellow, who have long been torn in Roman side and would welcome an ally against their old rivals. Lastly, a contingent of Roman raiders, 8 orange, has been spotted to the northwest. Why not an immediate threat they could wreak havoc on your rear when you march to meet the main Roman army at Asculum? Okay. Very good to know. Our forces were scattered by the storm, but we cannot go looking for survivors yet. We must hurry to Tarentum before the Romans assault the town. Roman army has laid siege to our allies in Heraclea. We will provide you with whatever resources we can spare if you drive these barbarians out of Megale Eris. Amazing. storm sent us far of course Ooh. we are glad to be reunited with you my lord many of the smaller greek settlements in italy are under siege and some have already fallen to the romans if we are to win this war we must liberate as many as we can I'm a doctor, evil. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. i You can count on us to support the war These Romans built organized camps and deployed their armies in formations. I'm afraid that you must abandon the fight, my lord. That ghastly wound cannot go untreated. We will continue the battle without you. You keep buzzing around me like an irksome fly. Does your famed courage only stretch to fighting small garrisons? Or are you man enough to face me in the field? Uh, what are there are so many things I know. Towns that Heraclea must not be destroyed, destroy the Roman camp near Heraclea, defeat the Roman army. Uh liberate four Greek settlements, advance to the Iron Age for free. Uh, okay, so I can get to the Iron Age. Uh yeah, and I get five popular space for each of the places that I these Romans have been loitering all over our pristine streets for years now. <laughs> 
The Romans are sending raiders to the They have to kill them. And best we want them at our backs when we face the front of Lyvina's army. So, hmm. Do you make any strikes or in center to end the, the raids? Saved, but the Romans still control the camp near Asculum. Let us march north and defeat them in their own backyard. With supplies now coming in from so many Greek towns, we can equip our forces with even better weapons and gear. Maybe we have survivors here? That would be a much welcome surprise. Oh, no. Now they come close to the Romans. Our reactions will be slow. Let us clear a way to Asculum and establish a forward base. They are at the end where? She's now destroyed them. Definitely. That government center, I will miss it. Um, northwest. Should be over here. a great civilization. But your neglect and decadence will be your downfall. When this day is over, all of Italy will belong to Rome. We need 
need more survivors. From this camp, we can strike at the Roman army. We some knights have fought the Romans for generations and would be happy to lend you our support. We ask only that you clear out the Romans occupying our capital. of the settlements. All of Megala Hellas is under our control! Are you guys going to explore more? 
the last upgrade for the academy Ooh. praise the gods the main army has found us at last I 
Maybe there are some of my allies there. Yeah, I think it's GG now. We can do much. We don't have production buildings to fend off them. Yeah, it's a miracle that they are not targeting us. so strong and we are nowhere close to them humiliation yes Miracle. I could get this to work now. I mean, no stopping reducing units against me, so. Romans fight without their rations. Alright. <laughs> so it's not GG anymore, apparently. Oh, 
Maybe there is something out there. Can I shoot? Explore? I think there is nothing much left to do. Yeah, the robots were attacking me non stop. Straight into a raging storm was not your brightest idea. Okay, now we must destroy these towers to finish off the garrison. Oh, thank God, you are not Centurions. Thank you for your help. We will provide you with whatever we can. Now I got most of what I am supposed to have and some cool side chariots.
still got some catapults here. But we don't have nothing. Oh. Yep. The no government center was a big lackluster. Lots of cute technology that I could have done. The summits were really helpful. Save two sea engines. Now this mass onslaught that there was with many many units no stop were has ceased, but I almost lost the game. I was about to get EG and then I simply have a miracle save. <laughs>
are very different. The Romans fled in panic before Pyrrhus' war elephants. When we fought them again at Asculum, they had already adapted to this strange new weapon, and they sent out twin chariots with long robes between them to down their fearsome creatures. But the Italian expedition never became the quick victory that Pyrrhus had hoped for. The Tarentines seemed content to let him do their fighting for them. And while he bested the Romans twice in battle, each victory came at the cost of thousands of his best men. One more victory like this, and I will be undone, he told me at one point. And I feared that it was true. Yet he refused to give up hope. Pyrrhus's ambition was to build a Western Empire from which he would conquer all of Alexander's old domains. If Italy could not be easily cowed, he would simply have to turn elsewhere. Well, very interesting. Indeed, it was a Pyrrhic victory because we lost many units, many, many units, and they killed a bunch of us as well. Raiders were a big problem. We could fend them out. And very good. GG. I almost gave up, almost gave up, but then I returned from the ashes, that was epic. Yeah, and zero villagers, <laughs> how, how awesome is that? Apparently they were doing some trading, good for them I guess. Oh, that looks cool. Uh huh. Oh, there are some new side chariots for me. Very good, very good. And here they do not give you anything at all. Ooh. And yeah, eventually they simply stopped making units, and then it was much easier because I was pretty much lost at some point. Yeah, that was a happy comeback. GG, folks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe. Oh, some guys that I forgot about then. Like, subscribe if you liked. See you next time.